chapter 8, by the way. So we're continuing from chapter 8. Uh, I'm going to be doing uh, uh, in chapter 8, 1 all the way to 5. I'm going to exclude uh, 8.6, okay, uh, because of the timing. And also, we need to relate uh, uh, those AA4 sections or 5 sections together. Now, the last thing that we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing uh, the installment loans amount that you're paying to the bank. And the bank is, is expecting an installment amount. Now, we're gonna, we, in, in this chapter, we're going to explain. I mean, I'm paying $500. Does it go directly toward my, my loan? For example, if I owe uh, $2,000 and I paid them $500, would the bank say, well, you know what, we subtract $500 from the $2,000, which is not the case, right? Okay. So that's because there's, a, there's interest involved. So out of the 500, some amount is going to go to the bank, some amount is going to go toward the loan. So that's the idea behind it here. You see the installment loan, monthly payments, and finance charges. There's a finance charge, and the bank will need to get his, his money before uh, they would reduce your uh, loan. And here's in this section, they mentioned that, by the way. Here they say, well, you know, the monthly allocation. So that what does it mean, monthly allocation? You could take, take a look at this table. Uh, payment number one, you paid three hundred and seven dollars. Hundred uh, twelve dollars went toward the the, the interest. Two ninety five went toward the principal. So I'm gonna subtract my my loan, the original loan, with two ninety five, not the three hundred and uh, three hundred and seven dollars, because the the bank takes this one in advance, and that's what is left over for you to be subtracting it from the balance. Same thing. Notice that the interest goes down month by month. And uh, this amount toward the principal goes up, which is it's an advantage. That's a good thing, right? Because you're reducing your your interest, uh, you're, sorry, you're reducing your amount of uh, the loan every month, which is logical. Okay. So now uh, the last idea here in this ch uh, chapter, paying off the loan. What does it mean? Let's say, for example, I took a loan for six months. I decided after the third month that I have the money to pay the whole thing. I don't want to wait. Till I till I pay uh, till the sixth month. So now I I do have the nine hundred and thirteen dollars and seventy cents. Now I need to pay it. So the bank will say, okay, that's acceptable, but you need to pay me for one more month interest. So the bank will do this. Well, you owe me nine hundred seventeen point seven times twelve percent times one over twelve because you're you're they're charging you one uh, percent per month. So that means actually you're gonna pay the bank nine dollars and thirteen cents or 14 cents in this case you add it to the top of uh, how much you owe them and you pay them back now uh, so the, the um, here's look at this one here uh, the first time you paid an interest of uh, 18 dollars the second time you paid an interest of uh, uh, 15 dollars the last the last time you paid 12 dollars and now you're going to be paying a little bit more uh, less because you're going down so it's less than $12, a little bit less than $12 will be $9.14, which is, this is normal. And now you paid off your loan and you're done. So you don't owe the bank any money, no more. And that will be it for this uh, loan and for this section and for this term, by the way. Okay, guys, talk to you later. Bye-bye.